live from Redfern, Virginia. I can barely hear myself think. This is SmackDown Live. I am the voice of Order Entertainment Enterprise, Tommy Black. And we got a loaded show, literally. A week from Sunday will be the Elimination Chamber. Of course, both Raw and SmackDown loading up that card. And of course, we are going to see the six competitors who will be stepping inside. Well, a few of the six competitors. Of course, we're going to be hearing from the man who will be defending his WWE Undisputed Championship against six other men. A week from Sunday... Here on Order Entertainment Enterprise, the head of the table, the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Let's hear what this man has to say. He is coming out here. He's looking to address the situation heading into WrestleMania. But first, he has a big roadblock ahead of him. That's the Elimination Chamber. And Adam Cole knows. Adam Cole knows that the course of WrestleMania could change right before our very eyes at the Elimination Chamber. And here comes Paul Heyman. Lord have mercy now. Can't wait to hear what the Walrus has to say. I'm at Paul Heyman. To be honest, he's been quite an asset to Roman Reigns. What does he really do? I mean, he's been making sure that undisputed championship stays around his waist, even when he went up against Brock Lesnar at the Royal Rumble, which was a shock to us all. And Paul Heyman didn't even turn his back on his client. Apparently, loyalty has slowly embedded, in, uh, embedded itself into his soul. It's great to see because I was tired of him flipping like a lobster. What's going on, Damien? He said, or fan, what? Are fans going to get in the ring and try to fight your tribal chief? Unbelievable. Of course, do not go far after this broadcast. We will be jumping over to front row material. Where? Them boys will be interviewing the legendary Crowbar. Many might know him as Devin Storm. Former WCW Cruiserweight Champion. This Coral Bar is just absolutely timeless. I hope things start changing. What I would like to change is for you to get the hell out of the ring. Of course, tonight we got ourselves a big main event. A number one contenders match to determine who will face Becky Lynch at the Elimination Chamber between Io Shirai and Taya Valkyrie. Thank God he's leaving. Anyway, we are going to get right underway, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be getting right underway. We're going to dip right into the cruiserweight. Cruiserweight division here. Our WWE cruiserweight champion, Mustafa, or Mustafa Ali, will be going up against one half of the Britain Brawlers. Well, he's the only Britain Brawler left. Oni Lorcan. Oni Lorcan. A very stiff competitor, catch can kind of athlete. What's going on, punk rocker?
Anyway, let's go to the ring. Get this cruiserweight action underway. I love calling the cruiserweights. It's been great since the cruiserweight division has moved over from NXT, which we no longer have on our scheduling, moved right over to the SmackDown Live. And look at the design, a very familiar design of that cruiserweight belt, Mustafa Ali picking up his second cruiserweight title in a fatal four-way ladder match here on SmackDown Live. I'm doing all right tonight. And how about you? Everybody start throwing them up. It's Oni Lorcan. Look at Oni. Oh, he is from Boston, isn't it? Come on, let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Just throw him up. Anyway, let's get this party started here in our cruiserweight division. This is gonna be different. High flying versus catch can style that Oni Lorcan brings to the table. Good turn around here by Oni Lorcan. Got him up in the hammer lock. Mustafa Ali needs to figure out a game plan here. Good turn around. Very quick and out the gate. Oh, good takedown. Snapping right on over. Oh, Oni. Oh, look at Holly go! Wow! What a beautiful way to kick off the night! Holly's no, no slouch inside the ring and a takedown there by Oni Lorcan. Oh, Oni Lorcan staying on top of the Cruiserweight Champion, looking to send him into the corner, running at full speed, and all in with a slam! Of course, SmackDown, not just a secondary show. Very athletic individuals on this roster. Beautiful neck breaker coming out of the Cruiserweight Champion. With Lord knows who's his next competitor. Good kick to the midsection. Oni Lorcan looking at him right up. There's a takedown with a series of right hands. Of course, Monday Night Raw kicked off with an amazing start to the week. Of course, we are on our way to this Sunday's pay-per-view. New Japan Pro Wrestling's new beginnings. Here he goes, catching a hold. Beautiful springboard bulldog unique maneuver coming out of a South Holly. Don't be flipping now. Now's, the, now's not the time for flippy shit. Had to go with a spinning heel. Not a chance in hell. He caught a hold. The turn around there by the South Holly. Very, very nice. Big purchase you're doing right there. Of course, we will be talking about RPG apparel later on in the night. Good drop down there. Nicely broad. Looking to step right up and around the world. Here he goes. Beautiful DDT. You've always been a proud supporter of the product. Nice kick to the leg. Going for it again. Oh, wait a minute. Good turn around there by Oni Lorcan. Looking to send him off into the corner. Beautiful maneuver. Looking to step up at full speed. Missing the drop kick. There's the chop. Mustafa Ali might be in a bit of trouble. For the cover and the kick out. Stepping up here, good forearm. Catching a hold once again. Into the neck breaker. And now Ali. Setting up Oni Lorcan up to a knee. And over the ropes he goes. Got him with a missile drop kick. Coach Oni Lorcan, a former NXT Tag Team Champion. Alongside Danny Burch and the Britain Brawlers. Good reversal. Oni oh, just threw the whole kitchen sink at him. And now Oni Lorcan just throwing him up. Stepping up, missing wild, but not to go for it. Not a chance in hell. Got him in the corner. Now Mustafa Ali. 
Rolling a page right on the right on the Oni Lorcan's book. That might have been a close hand. Oh, and somehow he connected. For the cover, Oni Lorcan looking to get the win, and Mustafa Ali kicks right out. A assist. Whoa. And the kick out just in the nick of time. Ali getting right back up on his feet. Good turnaround there by Ali. As he's cinching him up. Looking to turn it around. And the set out power ball. For the cover. Oh, and I thought he had the win right there. Ali. Where's he sending Oni? Right over there. Once he goes in, there goes Oni right to the outside. Ali stepping out. Here he comes. Oh, my God. to the outside. Great catch. Great catch there by Oni Lorcan. They're right in front of the announce desk. At least our COO isn't here for this. As we saw a commentary return of our COO last night on Monday Night Raw. What a matchup that, or what a night of action that was. Ali. Flying here with a nice missile drop hit. As he goes for the cover to get the win over Oni Lorcan. What's the referee doing? One. And the kick out. Good kick to the back. Ali set up. And a that drop. Ali has been on fire. Back and forth battle between both Oni Lorcan and Mustafa Ali. Now, Ali looking to put. Lorcan in a very dangerous position here. Getting a close-up shot. Here we go. Oh my. Great maneuver there by the Cruiserweight champ as he goes for the cover. And the kick out. Stepping up here. Oh, Lorcan quickly getting out of the way right there. What a great way to start the night off. The kick. Back up on his feet, good forearm. Now Ali looking to toss Lorcan right onto the outside. What the hell is he looking to do? Off the ropes he goes. Flip it over. Oh my! Okay, so far it's just a Monday Night Raw tweet. Stepping right up here. Only Lorcan tossing Ali onto the hard floor. Oh, good kick to the midsection. Ali trying to take control. What a spinning uppercut coming out of Oni Lorcan. Oh, oh, oh. running up. That referee's counting slower than he does when he does a pinfall. Well, he was counting quick as shit when it came to the Candice LeRae. And Carmella. The action back inside the ring. Ali trying to get a win here on Monday Night Raw. Good drop kick. Right to the chest as he catapults himself right to the top rope. Looking to fly. Oh, what a left drop. For the cover here on the Lorcan. One, two, two. And barely kicked out, but Oni Lorcan still in it. And again, Oni Lorcan has it scouted. Let's go for it. Quick turn around there by Mustafa. And there's a super kick. Ali, look at it, climb right up to the top here. Lord knows what this man is looking for, might be looking for the 054, but he might need to be well aware. Oh, what a missile drop hit. That only Lorcan could come to life at any given time. Here he goes, into the moonsault. Beautifully done. Now Ali was looking to cinch him up, good reversal there by Oni Lorcan. Looking to grab hold. Nice arm drag. Nice kick to the leg. And off of the ropes he goes. The referee needs to get out of the way. Here he goes once again. Up and around the wall. Into that DDT. Is it I that has tripping balls? Wait a minute. Oh, nice right hand. Going for it here. Oni Lorcan into the German suplex. Throw him up, kick. 
thought he might have the win here on SmackDown Live. Almost in Monday Night Raw. One. And the kick out. Of this crowd, the electric here in Richmond. Over every bit of it. Oh. Oh, and here he goes. He's got him sideways. Oh, and he just hung him up there. Like he was Brooklyn Laundry hanging from an apartment window. Oh, what a stop. Only Lorca has been, in, been dishing out punishment. Same with Ali. Both these men have been giving it all here in this non-title matchup. Going in for the cover. And a quick kick out there by Mustafa Ali. Oh, what the hell was that? Maybe got that rolling next snap. Only Lorcan looking for it. Digging right at the eyes. Got him with a drop kick. Gonna step up. Oh, and there's a super kick. Ali. Trying to get the crowd on his side here. He is a whole country mile away. Might need to think before he does. Good job there. God, I don't know what they love more. Ollie or Oh, Lorcan! Who just ate one of the most brutal drug kicks I've seen in a while coming out of Ollie! One! Two! Oh, and I thought Lorcan was finished! What a way to kick off SmackDown, the Cruiserweight division on display here on the blue brand. You can't get any better than this. Banking right at those arms. Good job there by Mustafa Ali. Who is definitely on top of his game as of late. Becoming the Cruiserweight Champion. Defeating Tony Nese, Jake Atlas, and Johnny Gargano in a Cruiserweight matchup. Oh, and a hangman's neck breaker. Uh, a beautiful ladder match that we've seen here on Monday Night Raw. Or, I'm sorry, on SmackDown Live. He looks to fly. Looking to catch hold. Oh, no, not a chance. And there he goes. And the that left drop. Oh, wait a minute. Good takedown. Ali back up on his feet. Here he comes. And that left breaker. Where's he going? Nobody asked you to step out. Oh, wait a minute, what's he doing? Ali! Missing, like an idiot. Good elbow. And off the ropes, he sends him. Oh, and through the whole kitchen sink at him as Oni Loken goes to the cover, very basic, and into the kick out. Got the kick to the back. Oni Loken stepping up to the middle rope, what's a kick? What is he planning to do on the middle rope? Looking to fly, no! Ali, with a German of his own! As now, he looks to scale right up to the top! This could be the final nail! Oh! Five, four! Beautifully executed, Ali going for the cover! One, two! And the win by the Cruiserweight Champion. <laughs> wow. Big way to kick off the night here on SmackDown, but we got something going on inside the ring. Wait a minute. Oh, he's putting out a hand of respect. Wow. What a positive way to kick off the night. Here on SmackDown, this is how professional wrestling should be. Right here. Actually, no matter what, but you can only see it here on Order Entertainment Enterprise. Mm -mm -mm. Now. Coming up next.
This just set the pace of what is going to be happening here tonight on SmackDown, all building up to a hell of a main event here tonight on SmackDown between Io Shirai and Taya Valkyrie. But of course, we are going to be dipping inside the Elimination Chamber right here. Edge and Daniel Bryan entering the Elimination Chamber via a series of qualifying matches. But now we're just getting a little taste of what they plan to bring to the table come next Sunday. Let's go to the ring. shape he will compete competing for the WWE Undisputed Championship at Elimination Chamber. God, the crowd's gonna love him. Because we got so many Elimination Chamber matches coming your way or previews coming your way here tonight on SmackDown Live. Superstar, the 11 time WWE Champion. Getting this Richmond crowd on their feet. Get the party started. Daniel Bryan and Edge. Oh, and he already connected. Cody starting with a banger here. Got him with a side of suplex. Beautifully done. Oh, wait a minute. Edge fighting right on back. What? I mean, this could be a main event anywhere. Good DDT. These two men are going back and forth with one another here tonight. Daniel Bryan getting him back up on his feet. Good kicking right out the leg. Sitching him up. Oh, Bradley right at the leg. Going right to the mat here. Good maneuver. What's going on, everybody? Thank you all for tuning in to another episode of SmackDown Live. But Daniel Bryan Edge competing here, giving us a preview of what it's going to look like inside the Elimination Chamber. Kick to the leg. Daniel Bryan going for the Northern Lights. Beautiful maneuver. Got the bridge. Into the pin. No. Good kick out there by the rated R superstar. Both these men earning their shots inside the elimination chamber by a series of qualifying matchups. Into the corner goes the goat. Stepping up. Got the drop kick. Beautiful job there by Daniel Bryan. Got him up the chicken wing. Into the chicken wing. Oh, wait a minute. Come oh, on! What an insecure! What are you, only Lorcan throwing him up? Into the corner. Daniel Bryan. Caught getting this cut on their feet already. 
God, I love this crowd. They're eating the action alive. Good God, what a drop kick. Into the corner, into the cover. What? And the kick out there by Edge. Targeting that left arm, showing his technical prowess. Here tonight on SmackDown, Daniel Bryan. Targeting both wins so far. Good maneuver. What a SmackDown full of action here tonight. Good forearm. Oh, wait a minute. Daniel tossing him to the outside. Oh, what's he looking at, dude? Daniel Bryan needs to be careful given that surgically repaired neck here. Oh, my God. I thought Edge was about to spear him right out of the sky. Action right out to the floor. What a matchup this is going to be. Oh, wait a minute. Let's go with a kick. Not a chance in hell. Daniel Bryan with a dragon suplex to Edge onto the floor. Three. Oh, get your ass back in the ring. What's wrong with you? Once again, Daniel Bryan looking to take the delivery. Oh! God, what a match! Five. We're gonna get the action back inside the ring. Daniel Bryan climbing to the top. He's looking to fly. Shades of Chris Benoit with a flying headbutt. For the cover. You're right there. Go for it. Two in the kick out there by Edge. And yes, I said Chris Benoit, if you don't like it, get out. Wait a minute, stretching right at the arm. Good reversal there by Daniel Bryan. Looking to step up, targeting that arm once again. Oh, he can barely stay it. And off the ropes. Got him with a missile drop kick. Here he goes. Right behind. End of the cover. One. That was insane. Unfreaking believable. Oh, good kick there by the rated R superstar. Turn around there by Daniel Bryan. He's looking for that great shove off there by the rated R superstar. Edge trying to take control here. He's looking for the impaler. Not a chance. Daniel Bryan looking to fly. Oh, he needs to look out. He just broke his ass. Daniel Bryan might not, might not recover after that one. Oh, he's grabbing a hold of the leg. Daniel Bryan looking to step right up. Got him with that missile drop kick as he flips him over, going for the cover. One, two, and Edge with a kick out. Definitely under that technical prowess of Daniel Bryan here tonight. Good Lord, what a matchup this has been here on SmackDown. Oh, wait a minute, Edge starting to fight right back out. Taking that brutal fist right to the midsection. Gonna grab hold, maybe. Wait a minute. Solid right hand right there. Look at a crab hold. Good, good job right there. Into the corner. Daniel Bryan mounting edge. Oh! Just shut them right on up. Up and around. Not a chance. Here goes Daniel Bryan. Going for the leg once again. And this time targeting the left one. Oh! Gotta love that technical prowess of Daniel Bryan. Oh God, what is he about to do with Edge? 
what's this? Daniel Bryan up on top. Here he comes. Ah! God, he's lifeless right in the middle of the ring. One, two, and somehow Edge managed to kick out of it. Wait a minute, stepping out to the floor. Looking to fly here. Got him! Beautifully done. By Daniel Bryan. Just going to town on the rated R superstar. Lord have mercy. Into that corner. Daniel Bryan running at full speed, he missed. Edge getting out of the way just in the nick of time. Here he goes with the... Oh! Impaler DDT, I'm going back to his... The original name, running at full speed. Got him with a spear! Good night, Daniel Bryan! One! Two! Unbelievable! What a kick out! Is Daniel Bryan even still functioning? Good job right there. Great drop kick, Daniel Bryan looking to scale. Stepping up here. Oh, and somehow that man connected. He just put it all on the line there. Getting right out of the way. Daniel Bryan going for another Northern Lights. Wow, I am sweating to death here tonight. This is one hell of a matchup. Oh. Edge going for it, into the running ball ball. Daniel Bryan definitely needing to recover after that brutal, brutal running bulldog. Daniel Bryan going for it again. Good Northern Lights. As now he is off in the corner, getting the yes movement on his side. Listen to this crowd here in Virginia, running at full speed in the running knee. Wow. What is Daniel Bryan doing? Go for the cover, you took too much time. One, two. What a win for Daniel Bryan, what a performance. Do you hear him? Because I do. What a match here on SmackDown. We still got more action coming your way. But this one next, one of the men this one's going to be insane. Logan Slater, the man who we just found out that Karrion Cross was his ace in the hole to try to take out Aleister Black and try to take that United States Championship off him. Qualified to enter the Elimination Chamber tonight. He will be going up against the Archer of Infamy, a man we previously knew as Punishment Martinez, Damian Priest. What a matchup this will be. But tonight, two strikers, two very unique athletes are about to square off for the first time here on SmackDown.
But let's not wait any longer. Let's go to the ring. Wow, look at him. Oh, wait a minute. They're not even going to make it to the ring. Here comes Damian Priest. Oh, wait a minute. He can't even get his damn vest off. This kid seems to have a target on his back. These two young athletes are going to town here tonight, sending them into the barricade. Look at that bow, very familiar. Can we get the party started? Let's go. And off the ropes. There's the drop down. Good leap, Brock. Got him right there with that beautiful flipping Larry. Trying to go for it here. Wait a minute, turn around there by Damian Priest. Beautiful slugging blow right to the back. Turn around there by Logan Slater. Trying to get him here. Into the roll-up. One. Two. 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 Oh, wait a minute. And the kick out. Quickly get the back up on his feet. Beautifully done here. Turn around there by Damian Priest. Reversal there by Logan Slater. As he looks to dig down deep into his arsenal. Days of impact right there. Switching into a legendary 619. Climbing to the top here. Looking to fly. Got him with that blockbuster. Look at that. Getting him going. And off of the ropes. Got him again. Here he goes. Looking to dig back. Into the 420 leg drop. Good reversal there by Damian Priest. Went to go for it. There's the flip. Getting him down. Oh! For the cover. One and the kick up. Tried to get him. There's the right hand. Put around there by the archer of infamy. There's the slugging ball. Trying to hit. Oh, ball. Damian Priest in control. Wait a minute. Beautiful maneuver. Slater in control. Back into the corner. Stepping up to the middle rope. Beautiful kick to the head. Damian Priest back up on his feet. There's a close on. Oh, with a beautiful punt. Slater rolling to the outside, trying to take a breather. Got him up here. Oh, he's looking to put the strength on display. Oh, my God. He just launched the poor man. Got him here. Oh, Face first into that LED post. Oh, once again, he's tearing apart my announce desk. Skin, what have I ever done to you? Five. Six. Back up on his feet. Sending him in the announce Seven. desk. Good kick to the midsection. Beautiful job there by Damian Priest. Oh! Oh, wait a minute. Getting right back inside the ring here. Here he goes. Into the spine buster. Beautifully done. One. Two, two in the kick out there by Priest. Solid right hand. This viewer counter is way on. Oh. Good kick. Right to that midsection. Slater and Priest have been going back and forth this entire time into the cover. And the kick out. Barely. Just barely. Oh, don't play around there. What a roll up. One. Two. Two. Oh. Great kick out as he runs right up. 
Into the sling blade, Shays and Hiroshi Tanahashi stepping up to the middle rope, missing the Phoenix Splash. Oh, now he's up and pissed. There he goes with a super kick. Oh, got him by the head. Looking to send him westward onto the floor. Slater having a performance of his life right here. Wait a minute. He just fake him out. Here he comes. Oh! Ho, ho. What a maneuver! Sending him once again right into my announce desk. It's plain as day. Thank God I don't have any moves tonight. Sending him westward. Here he comes. What do you continue to do to this kid? Oh, here he comes. Hoisting him up. Oh, my God! Now this crowd is loving it. Been a hell of a matchup here tonight on SmackDown Live. So much more action to come here tonight. Oh God, don't get counted out, kid. Here he comes. Oh, wait a minute. He taking a page right out of Slater's book. Lining up. Did the referee just move? Oh, what's this? Here he comes. Oh my God. That was new. For the cover one. Two, Damian Priest with a kick out. Damian Priest start to fight right on back. Here he comes back up on his feet. Great forearm. Right to the face of Slater. Oh, good maneuver. As here he comes. In off of the ropes. Hoisting him up. Into the devil's arrow. Wow. That was insane. For the cover to get the win. Here on SmackDown 2. The ref tripped him. I bet he did. Wow. Imagine what Logan Slater and Damian Priest are going to be bringing to the Elimination Chamber when the undisputed title is on the line. young man is on top of the world and could be well on his way to becoming an undisputed champion this Sunday or next Sunday sorry but ladies and gentlemen we got to take a quick commercial break but when we come back we will be hearing from Taya Valkyrie just a few moments before her big main event shot to become the number one contender to Becky Lynch's SmackDown Women's Championship. Lord knows what Miss Valkyrie has to say here tonight. We'll be back. And folks, if you want to avoid all these ads, you know what you could do? You could go straight to, to and subscribe to Order Entertainment Enterprise for $4.99 a month, or you can get it Via Amazon Prime, one free subscription, all you have to do is choose Order Entertainment Enterprise. 
Plus, you can also go to our Twitter page where you can see the official link to the official merch for Order Entertainment Enterprise that you will not be disappointed that you checked out or even purchased a piece of merchandise from the very store. And of course, it is brought to us by RPG Apparel. But folks, we are going to be hearing from Ty of Valkyrie right now. Let's go to the ring. Ty of Valkyrie already prompted and president in the ring. I love it. I love it when a superstar is already present and in the ring. Kaya Valkyrie announcing that she is on the hunt for gold. Well, isn't that the obvious statement? She will be in our main event tonight going one-on-one -on -one with the genius of the sky, Io Shirai. Coming up next, we got ourselves one killer tag team matchup, the Usos looking to square off against the Viking Raiders, the WWE Tag Team Champions who have been quite dominant since becoming the Tag Team Champions, do not look to relinquish that beautiful throne anytime soon, but the Viking Raiders or the War Raiders have a completely different plan. The War Raiders, one of the most decorated teams in professional wrestling, winning gold on Raw, winning gold on SmackDown, winning gold on NXT, winning gold in New Japan, winning gold in Ring of Honor. The list goes on when it comes to Big Hanson and Row. Let's go to the ring. Wow, what an ovation by the Richmond Cup. Of course, it seems that SmackDown can't get out of Richmond. Oh, God. Not again. It's like a full moon hit. Oh, this is not going to be pleasant whatsoever. What a kick. Big Hansen taking his full weight right to Jimmy or Jay. They haven't taken off their hats yet. I can't tell anymore. It is brother to Rod was that a neck break. Jay or Jimmy can't really tell right now. Already taking the offense right to Big Hansen. And shoves him right on. Oh, wait a minute. We might have ourselves a flying Uso. We always love 
Beautiful shot. Hope the whole crowd is happy. Hanson was looking for the leg lariat. He got right out of the way of that. 
Hoisting right on up. Beat him up on Great matchup here on SmackDown. Building up to the Elimination Chamber. What a hell of a meeting that we're going to be having here tonight between Taya Valkyrie and Io Shirai. There's a tag. You might not want to be playing around too much. Here comes Raw. Got him with a Superman punch. Shades of his own cousin. He knocked him right out. Jimmy down death row, but the way he's going, he might send himself down death row. Here he goes. Jimmy with a side rush in that swing. In that corner. I think with a right hand turn around there by Rowe. Not a chance. Going up. Oh my! Getting back up on his feet. Rowe, wrenching right at the arm, beautiful shoulder tackle there. That small Viking has a devastating finisher called Death Row. As he has him up. Oh, good God. In the corner. Lord knows what the hell that was. Not looking to get anything done in my eyes. Here's the tag. Jimmy with that beautiful body slam. Jay pushed up there. Picking up a much, much deserved victory, keeping their place at the top of their own proverbial pedestal here tonight. Whew. It's getting a little toasty in here, don't you think? Of course, folks, you will not want to miss it. Stay tuned till the end of the stream, where we will be heading over to Front Row Material, where you will see a hell of an interview with the legendary Crowbar. Wow. They got us themselves a stacked, stacked episode of Front Row Material brought to you by Order Entertainment. Order Entertainment, a kind of a silent partner for Front Row Material. But anyway, let's move on. Got some more action coming your way here tonight. Maybe digging back inside the Elimination Chamber matches. Mmm. We definitely are Bronson Reed and Walter, the two bigger men stepping inside the Elimination Chamber next Sunday here on Order Entertainment Enterprise. Walter making his SmackDown debut at the Royal Rumble where we found out literally the following Tuesday that he had signed to the more sport-oriented brand. Oh, excuse me for a second. <sighs> Sitting here sweating to death. Oh, God. <laughs> that felt good. Oh. Anyway, Bronson Reed, a former NXT North American champion. Walter, one of the longest reigning NXT United Kingdom champions. In recent memory, of course, lest we forget, he has done a lot of time over the, the independent scene in the United Kingdom. That is work 
that can never be replicated. Let's go to the ring. Look at Bronson, the thick boy from down under. Oh boy, here comes the ring general. I love watching Walter perform. But those choppers, those hands, can leave you breathless. What the hell is he doing? Oh God, this is not happening here. God, let the man at least get in the ring. Oh! He just keeps going, doesn't it? Oh! Walter hoisting up Bronson Reed. What strength by Walter! He's not going to run to the ring. He's not much of a runner. getting in the ring. He's going to assert his dominance here tonight and prove that he might be the next WWE Undisputed Champion after the Elimination Chamber. Oh, nice job. Walter not, I mean, Bronson Reed not going down. He might go down after that one. Oh, my God. Close your mouth. You don't want to fly to fly in. Solid right hand. Walter, wait a minute. He's looking for it there. Hoisted him up with a side of suplex. Walter definitely got the height advantage here in this match, but Bronson Reed might have the weight advantage taking him down to the canvas. Walter, the ring general, might be in a bit of trouble. He's looking to roll him up for the pin. Not a chance in hell. Good big boot there by the ring general. Oh, now he's got him by the throat. He left them there for a bit. Walter, stepping up. Oh! My God, what is he doing? Oh my God, what is he doing? Is he about to fly? Walter stepping out, right onto the floor, with a kick to the midsection. He's got him hoisted. What is he doing? Two, oh my God! Three. Huh, maybe. That would be nice. Never had a female next to me. Oh, wait a minute. He turned it around on him. What a German suplex there by Walter. Never had a female on commentary with me. Get the action back inside the ring. Good Lord, Bronson Reed is feeling every bit of that brutal power bomb. What a great kick out there by Bronson Reed, the Australian thick boy. In the corner, got the chop right there. Oh, did you see his nuts? God, I hope not. Nice boot wash there by Walter. Walter taking the business right to Bronson Reed, driving the kneecaps right into the canvas of, I mean, Lord have mercy. Walter's just destroying Bronson Reed after he tried to run. Rough shot. Oh, he 
was just staring at. Good God. Another chop right there by Walter as he's climbing up to the middle rope. Got him by the midsection. Here goes Walter. Come on. American champion, Walter, might be in a bit of trouble as Bronson Reed is creating that window of opportunity here. Missing wildly. Jesus! Not Bronson Reed is just unloading on a brutal spine buster that just reverberated the canvas. Let's go for it. Walter. Oh, with the drop kick that just came out of nowhere! Nice kick. Walter hoisted him up with his own Saida. Wait a minute. Here he goes. Bronson with a Samoan drop. Quickly, great kick out there by Walter. Oh, God, but Bronson Reed might have the win. Walter might be suffering his first loss here on SmackDown. Wait a minute. Turned it around. Put a blow to the back. What was he looking to do? Oh, no. God in heaven. The ring might break. Here he goes. Oh, what's this? Oh, ho, ho! A 
Slater's already put somebody through it. Oh my God! Threw Bronson Reed right into the LED post. I'm doing all right. Nice four. Going for it again here. Hoisted him right up. Up into the back. Both men showing signs of fatigue here on SmackDown and Bronson Reed getting the shoulder off. Oh, nothing. I'm just doing my job. Oh, he went to the drop kick. Not a chance. Bronson Reed. Oh, oh. Alter in off the ropes. There he goes with that close on. Look at him, Walter is a menace. Oh, oh, for it again. Can't say Walter is a menace, he's a fine tuned athlete. And good night, what a discus! One, two, and the kick out by Bronson Reed. This might be the moment he needs. Bronson Reed with a close line.
Unholy, unbelievable, been absolutely brutal. Oh, and here he goes. Watson Reed, wasted him up. Face first into the canvas. This has been one insane matchup after insane matchup. This might be it. Walter bleeding profusely and the kick out, but mustering up the momentum of one Bronson Reed. I forgot who I was talking about for a second. Oh, here goes Walter. Oh, there's a close line. Bronson Reed right onto the floor. Two. Oh, good Jesus. Cinching him up. Three. Oh, and just hug it. His men might not be able to make it to Elimination Chamber. Walter, 
unfazed that the blood is trickling from his head. I could have couldn't agree more. But folks, we gotta take a quick commercial break. But when we come back, we got two big main events coming your way that you'll not want to miss. And of course, we will be jumping over to front row material for a great night of entertainment. We'll be back. Wow. It has been insane. Just absolutely insane here tonight. Hot Shots 4, really? Coming up next, the man who became the ace in the hole for Logan Slater, the man that Logan Slater entrusts to eliminate Aleister Black. From his life, from WWE, and the United States Championship. Karrion Cross goes one-on-one -on -one with, uh, I can't describe what Baron Corbin is anymore. I really can't. Woof. Anyway, let, let's go to the ring. A shell of a man. <laughs> Baron Corbin. A man who used to have it all. Now it looks like he has nothing but smell. Definitely a man who used to have a full head of hair. Former WWE United States Champion. Former Mr. Money in the Bank. Now he absolutely has no money in the bank. because that is definitely, and I mean definitely, the music of Aleister Black. Is he going to be facing, is it Aleister Black? glasses does he wear? Yeah, tanning glasses, we'll go with that.
Look at Karrion Cross, the man who is, was it trusted by Logan Slater to eliminate Aleister Black. Look at that. Looks like his eyeballs are tan. Here we go. Got the color and elbow tie up Baron Corbin looking to take control. Oof. Good maneuver. Good turn around there by Baron Corbin. Apparently he can still wrestle. Arching right at the arm. Oh, he's not giving an inch on that arm. But turn around there by Karrion Cross. Got that color and elbow tie up once again. Nice takedown. What's this? What is he doing? Oh! Oh, went to go for it there. Baron Corbin. He's looking up on him. Not a chance in hell. Turn around there by Baron. He's launching him. Going up and over is Baron Corbin, who definitely has a height advantage over Karrion Cross. Hoisting him up. Now, this is not going to be pleasant for either man, or possibly more or less Karrion Cross. Oh, come on! Your boss already took the announce test. Are you guys one and the same? Great running knee now. The history between Kerry and Cross and Logan Slater date back to their days in Impact Wrestling when Cross was known as Killer Cross. Of course, that is the story I'm being told. They had quite a hell of a relationship. Never, you know, was in the same faction or anything, but they were quite a tight knit pair. Good turnaround. Nice job there by Karrion Cross. Now he's just looking to kick a mud hole right into Baron Corbin. Karrion Cross looking better than he's ever had. Ever has, sorry. Oh, wait a minute. There goes Karrion to the floor. Of course, we won't talk about his time on Monday Night Raw. Oh, you little pansy. You will get taken by the man who can bring hell to your life. Oh, great. Good God, a little bit of Miss Martial Arts. At least he's not on Monday Night Raw. Targeting the leg. 
more than physical prowess, he just launched the poor son of a bitch. I can kind of feel it too. Oh, wait a minute, goodbye, ref. Referee taking a nap, as usual. That could be. I mean, his, I mean, his soul was released not too long ago. Oh, what the hell is he doing? Unbelievable. Just pushing him right off the top rope, falling about 15 feet. Oh, he's bringing in the goddamn Three. stairs! Four. Eric Corbin bringing his ass back in. Going for it here! What the hell is Karrion Cross doing? Oh my god! He may have killed it! Carrying cross, the ace in the hole of Logan Slade. We're not going to call him that for the rest of his life. But the, the, I mean, let me tell you something. If you have a history dating all the way back to 2015, during Logan Slater's initial run in Impact Wrestling, I mean, that is a tight-knit relationship. And I don't, I mean, it had to, it took for Cross to get called up to SmackDown for this relationship to blossom once again. And off the ropes he goes. Looking to catch Ray Hold. What a slam. Baron Corbin, nobody's gonna sign that man, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, wait a minute. Solid right hand coming out of the golden club. Boxing winner. Beautiful job. I'm gonna go in for the cover. And the kick out there by Karrion Cross. Oh, come on. Oh, getting out of the way quickly. Here he goes! Oh my god! What a sign of suplex! Oh, and there goes Carrion! Oh my! Oh, I was looking to target that leg once again. Carrion Cross might be in a bit of a vulnerable state right here. Here he goes! Solid left hand! Here he goes. Oh! 
I'm gonna flip this right on over. Going for another. I'm gonna pay tribute to the late great Eddie. Go Wait a minute. No, into the perfect punch. What a match between Terry and Cross and Baron Corbett. Drop down. Getting late for Oh, what's he looking for? Oh, Baron Corbin. Might be finished here once again. And in the cross jacket. Come on, kid. You can do it. You can tap this poor, penniless bastard out. Wait a minute. Let him go. Oh, what the hell is he looking to do with Baron? Pretty sure he might be unconscious. Oh, Jesus in heaven. Right into the point of my MLS desk. Oh, and there he comes. Oh, good knee. Baron! Oh, what the hell is this? What the hell are they doing? Carrying Cross, hoisting him up! Oh my god! He just killed the penniless fucker! Corbin somehow, some way needs Seven. to get back inside the ring before the count of ten, or he's not gonna get paid. Definitely won't get paid. Oh my god, here he goes again! Solid right hand right there to carry and cross. Oh, come on! What the hell is he doing? Oh, and here he goes. He's a man eater. Oh, what the hell is he doing? Here he goes. Oh, right into the cross jacket. Times the charming Corbin taps out. My God, that was beautiful. Arian Cross tapping out Barrett. Wait a damn second! It's a block! It's Alistair Black! Unbelievable! The United States champion taking Carrion Cross to war! Oh no! Oh, he could. He could end the golden boy of Logan Slater right here! No! Grab a hold of him. Here he goes! Got him on the suplex! Alistair, hoisting up carrying, coming to that crossbody! This referee is about useless. Oh, here he goes! And there he goes! Once again, he's got him in the cross jacket! Carrion Cross has got him in the cross jacket! Wow. This is gonna be a physical war when these two meet! 
men meet at the Elimination Chamber. Wow. Folks, we got ourselves a hell of a main event coming your way. Let's move it on. To Io Shirai, Taya Valkyrie. Here tonight on SmackDown. What a main event this is going to be to determine the number one contender to the WWE Women's Championship. Becky Lynch waiting patiently to see who her next competitor will be when it comes to the Elimination Chamber. Will it be happening at the Elimination Chamber? Will it happen on the go-home show? We'll just have to find out in due time. Anyway, Io Shirai, with a big moment ahead of her, already has a win over Beth Phoenix. Oh, thank you for the shout-out, J-Rod. But nonetheless, let's go to the ring for our main event of the evening. Look at Io. Moving right on back to that. Io Shirai looking lovely. Not one hydrate, huh? Okay. People want to be in other people's business. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Frankie Monet addressing Io Shirai earlier in the show tonight. Of course, can she back her words up against the genius of the sky here in this number one contenders match? Can she finally get her rematch to be honest that she quite deserves? Because she already has a pinfall victory over Becky Lynch in a non-title matchup. To be honest, the SmackDown GM has been putting her through the ringer, not giving her a fair shot. To be honest, she already has a win over Becky Lynch. the scariest moment ever. Oh, well, thank you. Everybody else up in people's business. Nonetheless, here we go. Main event time. Ring the damn bell. Definitely a major height advantage between the two. Off the ropes goes. Where a look got Taya Valkyrie. Dropped down there by Io Shirai. Nice leap, Braun. Look at a step right up. Good arm drag. To the back. Something right at the arm. 
Io Shirai in front of control. So far, so good. Turning it around on her. Hoisting her up. Into a brutal side. Nice forearm. And off the roof she goes once again. Got her with something. Io Shirai in control of Weraloka. Now these two did not meet in NXT. Big platform for these two beautiful vertical suplex coming out of Taya Valkyrie. We're not calling her Frankie Monet. We don't do that here. Good turnaround. Oh my God. Poor Io Shirai eating that German suplex. Good reversal there by the genius of the sky. Jesus. Mm. Stepping up to the middle rope here. Got her with a healthy DDT. For the cover. One. And the kick out there by Taya Valkyrie. What was that? Good job right here. Hoisting her up. Got her with a German. Once again there by one. Oh, Io Shirai. Is that a tattoo? Or is that oil? Io Shirai looking to use that rope. Beautiful moonsault. I'm surprised that even connected. It didn't look flush. Good elbow right onto the face. Looking to run right up. Reversal there by Io Shirai. Now stepping right on up, taking those kicks right to the chest of Taya Valkyrie. Io with the kick to the head. Trying to get the win. One. And the kick out. Now Io Shirai looking to scale to the top. Here in our main event. I have two. So is eclectic. It's where we're look up. We're gonna fly. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Beautiful maneuver there by Io Shirai. Going for it here. Good kick to the midsection. Tie him out three. Sending Io into the corner. Running at full speed. Getting another way just in the nick of time. Io Shirai going for it and yanking right in the arm. Here she goes, hoisting her up. Surprised she mustered up the strength. Oh, what is she looking to do? From the middle rope! Oh my god! Just launching Taya Valkyrie! A whole country mile across the ring! Oh god! What a match! Oh, and she mixed! What an idiot! Here goes Taya with a beautiful German into the bridge. One. And the kick out there by the genius of the sky. Io Shirai. I just realized how much that rhymes. It's gone to the midsection. Now targeting the midsection. Good work there by Taya Valkyrie. Not now bending back the phalanges. Beautiful maneuver. Now looking to go for the cover tie of Valkyrie. Oh, and Io Shirai with a quick kick out. Still keeping herself fresh and alive here in this matchup. Trying to hear. Let the with a spin. Not a chance. Tie of Valkyrie stepping her out of the corner. Beautiful slash there to Io Shirai. She's, she's looking at Quan. Can she even connect? Going to the moon song. Oh, and she did not. What an idiot. She was too far away. Eel. With those kicks now stomping at the hand. The kick to the back. Trying it again. Looking to fly, looking to bring out her own. Oh no, 
she's not going to be able to make that one. She's a whole mile away. Looking to fly. Feel the fall. Oh, can she connect with this? Taya Valkyrie on the outside. Here she comes. Oh! She's a man eater. Two. What's she doing? Oh, and what a brutal headbutt is now. Io Shirai climbs to the skies here. Very comfortable in her own right. Turning it around. Into the beautiful moonsault. She might have Taya Valkyrie here tonight. That was beautiful. For the cover to become the number one contender here tonight. Oh, she got it. Io Shirai will be beating Becky Lynch for the WWE Women's SmackDown Women's Championship. Unbelievable. I have one piece of advice for Ty of Alfred. I heard impacts, Hyrum. But anyway, a big win for Io Shirai here tonight in a hell of a main event. I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in to SmackDown Live. Folks, we are going to be heading over to Front Row Material where they are sitting down with Many, would many people remember him as Devin Storm? Now he is Crowbar for the moment. I have been the voice of Order Entertainment Enterprise, Tommy Black, and I will see you there. Oh my God!